Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you some finger style techniques that I always play, which you can find in most of my guitar arrangements. Most of these are gonna be percussive techniques, so I'll be using my right hand the most in this video. You can also play these techniques and apply them to your finger style arrangements. And stay tuned till the end to see me play all of these techniques all together in a short riff that I made. First of all, speaking from experience, learning percussive techniques take a good amount of time and dedication, so you gotta be patient with it. Back then, my hand gets really sore easily when I'm practicing the percussive techniques over and over again. Especially when I just started to practice the wrist thumps, we'll get to that one later. So my right hand's wrist hurts all the time and it hurts so bad. But you know, the more practice I have, the less painful it'll be. So if you guys feel like it's too painful for you now to practice percussive techniques, um, just keep in mind that don't be discouraged because that's all process of learning. As you guys have seen in my videos, I always use finger picks and a thumb pick when I'm playing my finger cell covers. That is because my fingernails are super soft, so it doesn't sound that good when I play the acoustic guitar. You know, classical guitars and acoustic guitars are really different. Um, especially the strings, because classical guitars use nylon strings, which are way more softer than acoustic steel strings. So that is why I use the finger picks to achieve that bolder tone that I'm looking for, and so my nails will not get damaged. As for the thumb pick, I also use this to be able to play the thumb pick techniques that I'm going to explain to you guys later. And yeah, I cannot play those techniques without my thumb pick. So yeah, I have to play with my thumb pick. I picked up these techniques when I was learning other fingerside guitarists arrangements. So they are not 100% my creation or my invention, you know? So they have been played by so many people for many years now. But I do have some basic techniques that I combine all together. And that's the part when it requires the practice, you know, and the dedication to do all of the techniques smoothly. So I'll show you guys the techniques now. Palm mute. Palm mute is one of the most basic guitar techniques ever, and it's one of the most played guitar techniques too. So it's been played by literally every guitarist in the world, so you gotta learn this technique. Um, it's when you use your palm over the guitar bridge like this, and if you strum it, it'll produce a sound like this. You know, so instead of like the normal version, I mean the sustained notes version, uh, if you don't use the palm mute like this, you will get the deadened version of a strum when you palm mute it, so it's like this. It's really different, right? Yeah, so that's what I find it cool with this technique because um, without the palm mute, it really sounds different, you know, the tone is so different, so I really like this technique. Wrist thump. Wrist thump is also one of the most played guitar techniques there is. It's when you use your wrist and you hit your wrist to the body of your guitar, like this. This technique is to imitate the drum kick sound, you know. And I also like to use it um, on the bridge, like this. This is usually when I also need to palm mute, so these two versions of the kicks of the wrist thumb techniques have different tones. So this one here on the bridge, um, it has a softer tone, right? Than the one on the body of the guitar. So yeah, that's what I really like a lot. String slap. String slap is also one of the most played guitar techniques in fingerstyle, and I think it's more often played than the wrist thumbs. It's when you use your thumb to slap your guitar strings like this. And it's normally your lower guitar strings, maybe like between the fifth and sixth string. This one is to imitate the drum snare sound, where um, before this is to imitate the drum kick sound, and this is for the drum snare sound. So if you guys um, play both of them, you will get this really cool beat, like. Like that, for example. The beats are really cool. Thumb pick tap. To be honest, I've never seen other guitarists do the thumb pick tap technique other than me. So it's either I'm true or I'm just not that knowledgeable. 
To do the thumbpick technique, you just have to tap your thumbpick to your guitar's body, like this. This is also to imitate the drum snare sound, kind of like the string slap that I did before. But the tone is really different because this one, the thumb pick tap, it's way softer and less pronounced than the string slap. So that's why I usually use this thumb pick tap technique during the verses of a song and the string slap during the chorus of a song. People have asked me if it's okay to play the thumb pick technique without hurting the guitar, but I think it's okay, although, if you guys can see, there are a lot of scratches here because of me playing the thumping technique. So yeah, I don't really care, I guess, because um, I like this technique and I like how it sounds and I would really love it to, to apply it into my guitar arrangement. So yeah, I did it anyway. Dead note plug. Dead note plug is one of the most common guitar techniques and the most basic and yeah it's really easy to play that so you just have to mute your guitar strings with your left hand fingers so the way to do it is you just have to touch your guitar strings with your left hand fingers like this just touch it don't press it like you normally want to uh, play a note or something uh, yeah so you just touch it and you just pluck it with your right hand like this This is normally for imitating the hi-hat sound of a drum, I think. This is a really cool percussive technique that I always use, and it's really easy to play, so yeah. <laughs> Dead Note Drum. Dead Note Drum is pretty much the same with Dead Note Pluck, but instead of plucking just one muted string, you pluck a couple of strings, maybe like three strings or four strings. So like this. It's pretty much the same. So yeah, the tone is different because the Dead Note Strum stone is uh, so much wider, obviously, than the Dead Note Pluck. So that was six basic techniques that I always play in my finger style covers. And yeah, they can be really easy to play individually. But you know, when it comes to finger style, you have to play them all together or something and mix them with the chords or the melodies of the song or the bass lines of the songs, like, you know, everything else. So yeah, that's the part where it gets hard and complicated and, you know, tricky. So yeah, practice makes perfect, guys. So these are the combinations that I usually do. String slap and pluck. This is when you do the string slap technique like I mentioned to you guys before, with your thumb on the lower strings. But you also pluck the melody note with um, your other finger. So in this case, let's say the middle finger all together with the string slap. So it kind of sounds like this. I remember the struggle in playing this technique at the first time. You know, it's really hard to get it right at the first time. It really requires practice for this particular technique. The more practice, you'll be able to play with no problem. Now the hard part is when I have to play the bass line notes at the same time with the string slap technique. So yeah, that's where it gets really tricky because to be able to pluck the bass line notes and do the string slap at the same time, you have to do it both with your thumb, right? Because you can't do it with your other fingers. So for example, if the bass line is like this, And if you want to play the string slap also um, at the same time with the bass line notes, it seems like it's impossible, right? <laughs> because you have to do both of them with only your thumb. So yeah, back then when I uh, came across something like this, I always eliminated the bass line notes to be able to play the string slap technique. So it's kind of like a waste. Um, so it sounds like this. But yeah, so today I have a trick, I have a technique for you to be able to play those techniques all together at the same time. What I have to do is to um, do the string slap technique, but immediately after that, I quickly pluck the bass line note. So kind of like this. So 
So it kind of sounds like they synchronize and they play at the same time, but actually they don't. But because you play it um, really quickly, people don't really get that it's not at the same time. You know, they, they think that it's synchronized because it's really fast. And this is how it'll sound if I play the bass line notes with the string slap at the same time uh, with that technique. You see, so they, um, they all play at the same time, but they actually don't. <laughs> it's like a cheat for me. So the trickiest part is if you have to play the bass line note at the sixth string, not the fifth string like before, but the sixth string. That one is tricky because um, before, I mean, the bass line note pluck is downwards, right? Right, I plucked it downwards. Like I usually pluck um, a guitar, like people normally pluck a guitar. But if I would have done it at the sixth string, I have to pluck it upwards like this. So, you know, this is when the thumb pick comes to the rescue, right? Um, I don't think I can play this technique without the thumb pick. So this is um, literally the same with the, the previous technique that I mentioned to you guys before. But instead of plucking downwards, you pluck it upwards. So after the string slap, you immediately pluck it upwards. So it's like this, you know? If I play um, the full bass line notes and with the string slap at the same time, it kind of sounds like this. Usually, I also combine it with um, the other techniques as well. So in this case, I will combine it with wrist thumbs. So it'll sound like this. So yeah, that's how it'll sound like if I combine some of the techniques together. String slap and strum. This one is pretty similar with the string slap plus pluck before. Um, but instead of plucking, you strum it. You strum it with, um, if I do it, I usually do it with three fingers, with my um, point finger, my middle finger, and my ring fingers. So yeah, that's how I strum it. This is how it sounds like if I only strum it. So yeah, you just have to add the string slap um, at the same time. Okay, those techniques that I have mentioned to you guys before, um, which are the string slap plus pluck and the string slap plus strum, those two techniques are very, very common in fingerstyle. So I suggest you to practice those techniques because those techniques will come a long way and they will definitely help you in guitar arranging in the future. Thumb pick tap and pluck. This is when I do the thumb pick tap like the string slap before. And I also do the plucking, like the string slap and pluck, like I mentioned before. So it's like this. Yeah, it's kind of the same with string slap and pluck. So instead of playing the string slap technique, you just play the thumping technique. You know what? I don't really recommend you to play the thumping technique if you don't want to hurt your guitar, you know? Um, this is just one of my uh, technique, one of my favorite techniques to play. So yeah, you don't have to follow me on this one. Wrist thump and string slap. I mentioned to you guys before about making a really cool beat with wrist thumps and string slaps like this. Um, but there are gonna be some times when I need to play them at the same time. So it's like this. So if I play the um, full beat, it's like this. So um, that's not the hard part. The hard part is when you have to play the melody note also, and you know, the chords and the bass lines too. So it's kind of like this. Um. Maybe like that. So yeah, what I did before was I also played the bass note and strumming. So that's the combination that I usually do on my guitar covers. Palm mute and dead note strum. This is when you have to do the palm muting, like I mentioned to you guys before. Um, so you have to put your palm over the guitar bridge like this, 
and maybe play a note, for example, this one, this G note at the uh, sixth string. And you also have to play the dead note strum, you know, below the sixth string. So maybe you play the dead note strum with the fifth string, the fourth string, and the third string. So this is pretty tricky because this also requires the help of the left hand because what the left hand must do is it has to play the bass line note in here and it also has to touch the fifth, fourth, and third string below the sixth string. So it's kind of like this, you know, and with the help of the right hand, just strum it. So not only you uh, hear the bass line note, you also hear the dead note strum too, as the percussion, right? Okay, so those are some basic techniques and combination techniques that I usually use in my fingerstyle arrangements. And now I'm going to play some guitar riff and that includes all of the guitar techniques that I just mentioned to you guys before. But before I do that, please spare me just 54 seconds to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I've been getting tons of questions about how to learn guitar for beginners. Therefore, I recommend you to go to Skillshare. There's a class titled Learn Guitar The Complete Beginner's Guide by Mark Barnacle. Mark did a really great job on explaining the basics of guitar step by step, from tuning, chords, picking exercises, scales, and more. If you're looking for another music-related classes, you're in the right place. There are also classes about trap music production, audio mixing and mastering, remixing dance music, and more. Skillshare has thousands of inspiring online classes about other categories as well, like illustration, photography, marketing, and so on. Don't worry, there won't be any ads on Skillshare, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Now, because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video helps you guys. If you guys plan on practicing the techniques that I mentioned in this video, just keep in mind that these things take time and dedication and patience to learn. So yeah, do not be discouraged along the way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!